everyone and welcome. My name is Whitney Baldwin and I do a ton of different creative things here on this channel. And today I will be talking about Habitat for Humanity. I thought that Habitat for Humanity was just a community service organization where they provided counsel for homeownership and they also had a volunteer program where you could go build, help build houses for the community. I did not know that they have locations called ReStores where they, it's basically a thrift store, but they have more than furniture and housewares. They actually have building supplies and building materials that you can go purchase for extremely cheap at thrift store prices to build your home. It is absolutely one of the best resources for you to have if you are renovating or building a home because you can get brand new things, reuse things, you can salvage things for a really, really decent price. And I would like to share with you some of the things that I've been able to pick up over the last couple of months going in and out of the different restores in my area. And so you have an idea of what type of things that they have and at the different price points that they have. Keep in mind that the ReStore is donation only and the inventory is going to vary location to location. So I'm just going to show you kind of what I have at the price points that I got them for and hopefully you can find stuff like this at a ReStore near you. This beautiful little teapot, tea kettle I got for $2. This really pretty farmhouse dish for also $2 if I don't break it. And I got this gravy boat. How awesome is this? You can put your spoon right in there and then you don't have to use another saucer for it. I picked up this little watering can for 50 cents and I think I might put flowers in here. I got not one, but two. These like little cast iron uh, pitchers. I'll probably use these as centerpieces on tables with some flowers in them as well. I found this beautiful tripod for $4. I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. I'll probably just like actually sit it on my drafting table and just have it be a beautiful piece of work. It was made in Japan and it's just a beautiful piece of machinery and technology. Glass pitcher, $2. Picked up this vintage Hamilton Beach hand mixer. It is still in the plastic and it's like from the 70s and I love it. Got a dial o -matic. Food slicer for $5. Serving dish for some, you know, deviled eggs. Becoming very domestic. A wine bottle corker for when I decide to make wine, maybe. This really cool old shutter that somebody turned, oh my God, this is so heavy. Somebody turned into a shelf, $12. They also sell like little hardware things like these, like picture hanging wires, some push pins, some hooks. These were, I think, three for 75 cents. Yeah, three packs for 75 cents. And my favorite thing are these. I don't know what it is, but it makes me really happy. And it was a dollar. <laughs> it's the coolest, like, what is it? All right, I'm gonna take you guys into construction zone and show you what I got for building materials over there. Bifold doors, $10. I'm still working on this bathroom, but I got this trim, this trim, the white trim for, there was a bundle, I think of eight pieces for 10 bucks. I got that white shelving right there. There are two of them for three bucks for the both. I got this light for eight bucks, which is they're gonna go there. All right guys, so this is the last thing I'm gonna show you. This is obviously not a building material. This is a vintage Singer treadle sewing machine. It, this is a beautiful piece. I got this for $95 and it still has the manual in there. How cool is this? I have no idea how old this is and it has somebody's high school notebook for their sewing class. So the way this works is this top flap opens up and then there is a piece here that folds up. The machine pulls out like this. Oop, I have to 
close your eyes for a second. <laughs> so sorry. That flap pops down and then the machine sits back down on that flap like that. Isn't this stunning? It is so gorgeous. It's just, I love it. And I cannot believe I got this for $95. There was one at Housing Works in the city for like $280 and it wasn't even in this good of shape. So, yep, you can get vintage pieces like this too, everybody. I will have links to Habitat's website in the description bar below. And if you are so inclined to help build a house in your community or in other people's community, go check out their website. You can volunteer, you can learn how to do construction, and you'll do something really amazing for the community and for somebody who needs a home. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.